Welcome to a TSA suitcase lock that was sent to me by Lockmania. Buddy, thank you very much for the lock. The application of this lock you can see from this picture. It is meant to be mounted on your suitcase and it will securely hold in place the two handles of your zip and only if you enter the right code you can push the button which will slide the two teeth away so that you can remove the two handles and open up your luggage. Alternatively, the TSA guys can get access to your luggage by operating this lock with the TSA key 007. This will bypass the combination lock mechanism and so they can also push the button and open up your luggage. Let's find out how much resistance this lock will provide against unauthorized access. Before we look at the vulnerabilities of this lock, let's quickly see how it works. Currently the write code 003 is entered and so I can push in this button. To change the code I have to push in this little button. This is only possible when the write code is uh, entered. And so I can now change the wheels to set a new code. And when I push in this button, the little button jumps out. Now I can push in uh, the handle of a zip and uh, when I now change the wheels the write code is no longer entered and so I will not be able to push in this button. Well if the TSA guys needs to get access to your luggage they will operate this lock and bypass this mechanism and so they can open up um, uh, your, your, your suitcase. Now, how difficult is it to defeat this lock? Um, well, first I try to push in this button to apply tension to the locking mechanism, feel resistance on the wheel and find the right code, but this is not possible with this lock design. So pushing this button will not tension the locking mechanism and I don't feel any resistance on the wheel, so that's, that's good. But we can look in this gap here and see the uh, the gates and when I turn this wheel we can see a gate coming here from the left. Now it's a little bit off the center to the left and do the same here for this. It's already there and I think we are here also at the gate. So now all the gates are aligned um, in this direction outwards but the lock does no, not yet open because the gates need to be somewhere positioned here. So let's turn all the wheels one position to the left. Not open yet. Another time. Opens. This might not be a real world um, application to defeat this lock because it's quite um, cumbersome to bend <laughs> down to your luggage or you put your, um, your suitcase upside down and use a flashlight to uh, look into this gap and uh, try to find the gate. Um, but it's a possibility. Um, another possibility would, you, would be to use something like this, that's a piece of plastic, plastic that I cut from a, from a bottle, to feel the gate. Currently the gate is um, not exposed to the outside, so this is round and smooth. But when I turn this wheel to positions to the right, that's the place where we had the gate exposed and we can easily feel the gate here. So this might be more likely to be a real world threat, but still uh, it's a cumbersome and um, yeah, an operation that takes a while. Much easier is it to access or to attack this lock here. This is meant to be operated only with the right key that um, the TSA guys have, but it's a crappy lock and so no matter what you stick in, <laughs> or maybe uh, almost everything that you stick in this lock and uh, wiggle around will open it. Yeah, currently it's locked up and when I push in this pick here, should be able yeah, to turn the, the plug and you can see it's open now. 
So this lock is really easy to open. I think it only has uh, three wafers. Again, it's open. So the weak point for sure is this lock, but still I think this lock as a whole is better than nothing. Um, it cannot be easily um, opened by pushing and feeling the coat. Um, the ways that you can find out the right codes are maybe not practical in real world situations, but this lock here is really crappy and easy um, to, um, to open. But I think this lock is better than nothing and so I would probably use it if I have something valuable. I don't know. As I said, it's probably better than nothing, but um, not really a high security lock. Anyhow, that's um, all I have for you on this uh, TSA lock. Again, uh, Lockmania, thanks a lot for sending it to me. And everybody else, thanks a lot for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye.